I'm kind of excited about this and wanted to share this system that I plan to build. Uh, I got the idea from the Earthen Group. Uh, you might want to look that up. They've got some good information there and quite an impressive system that's been running for two years now. And what they're doing is they're using inch and a half drain rock with a um, shade cloth or uh, I'm using a, um, a drain field cloth to separate the soil from the gravel below and uh, this gravel would be an inch and a half gravel so that there's a good flow of water down through this uh, through the bottom of the grow beds it wicks up into the soil the soil is composed of a 30 percent dirt 30 percent compost and 30 percent um, sand sorry for hesitating there and then there's a, a mulch that you would apply to the top just to keep the moisture from uh, evaporating which is already this this uh, that is the the reason for doing this type of a system is the water is is wicking up from the bottom rather than applying it to the top where a, there's a increase of uh, of evaporation if you're watering from the top rather than the bottom so anyhow back to this the water is flowing through the gravel and into the into the fish tank water from the um, the fish tank flows into the radial filter and in case you're not familiar with a radial filter there is a collar that's submerged part way into the tank water flows in here it slows down debris just settles down to the bottom and you can flush out the uh, debris from the bottom uh, the water the the debris that floats is also contained within the collar until it eventually either gets cleaned out or uh, falls to the bottom so what you're doing is you've got nice clean water coming off the top and I actually just turn this down just a, a little bit so that I'm not taking it directly off the surface this water flows into the sump tank this is a uh, an airlift pump an airlift pump is extremely simple it's just a T at this point and the airline comes in through the T and goes near to the bottom you don't want your bubbles to come up to out of the end here so it has to be just a little bit up as the water as the air floats up through the or floats up through this um, tube then it, it's uh, pushing the water along with it and I'm currently pumping over a thousand gallons an hour with my airlift pump um, the water then comes from the airlift and returns back here to the the gravel in the in the wicking beds this is where the nitrification happens and so your fish are getting nice clean water after the nitrification has happened inside these uh, inside this area where the rocks are and the soil and the and the water never actually make contact there's an air gap held above remember this is all one level the water never actually makes contact other than the way it wicks up through the system so there's an air gap here and that uh, also provides the, the oxygen to the to the water that um, keeps this from going anaerobic and then the nice clean water after it's been uh, through the nitrification flows back into the into the fish tank and cycles back around 